In the 6th century BC, two city-states were competing for dominance in the Greek territories, Argos and Sparta. Theria was also a nearby plain situated between the two states. This plain was one of the most fertile regions on the Greek peninsula and would host the power struggle between Argos and Sparta. Argos had previously defeated Sparta here and had taken control of the valley. However, now Sparta possessed a stronger army. Meanwhile, Lydia had been invaded by the Persians and the entire Anatolia had fallen into the hands of the Achaemenid Emperor Cyrus. Cyrus's eyes were on Greece. Therefore, an internal war among the Greek city-states could have meant destruction for all of Greece. Upon this, the people of Argos and Spartans planned a duel. This way, the loss of soldiers would be minimized. Hoplite units, consisting of 300 soldiers equipped with spears, swords, and shields, would engage in combat in the middle of the plain, and the last standing army would become the ruler of the plain. The use of long-range weapons such as bows and slings was prohibited. As a result, each state set up its military camps at both ends of the plain and deployed their best 300 hoplite units to the forefront. They met in the middle of the plain. This duel was a display of strength. The winning soldier would perhaps be remembered as Greece's mightiest hoplite and would have expanded his state's territories. With the break of dawn, the two groups began to fight each other. It was a very bloody pitched battle. They fought until nightfall, and when night came, there were bodies everywhere. Only two people were still standing, and both of them were from Argos. There was no one else to be seen or heard to fight. They set out for their army camps, proclaiming their victory. However, amidst the bodies, one person was actually alive. It was a Spartan, injured and unconscious. Now he had regained consciousness. He scanned the battlefield, but he couldn't find anyone. All his comrades were dead. He returned to his camp. When he recounted what had happened, Sparta declared that Argos hadn't achieved a clean victory. There was still a Spartan duelist standing. Witnessing the corpses of his remaining duelist friends had caused him great trauma. Fainting during the battle meant he couldn't be there for his friends when they needed him. Now, with his unit completely annihilated, he took his own life that day. The Spartan leadership was aware that they had a larger army than the people of Argos. They declared the duel invalid and gathered all their forces. A pitched battle was to take place between the armies of Sparta and Argos. Argos came with its army to the Thyria Plain to defend its territory. A bloody pitched battle took place, which Sparta dominated. The Spartans became the new owners of the Thyria Plain. Thus, we have come to the end of the topic about the Battle of the 300 Champions. See you in the next videos.